we're going to do our neurological assessment for the ulnar nerve. And for the first uh, part for this one, our sensory area uh, is going to be the, um, the ulnar side of the, the hand, uh, as well as the, the little pinky and uh, half of the uh, ring, ring pinky. That's the sensory area. Uh, we can also do uh, sensation tests to the to the tip of the of the fifth finger. Uh, so again, we can uh, pinch that if we needed to to uh, assess the uh, um, sensation for the ulnar nerve. And then also for a motor test, uh, there's a few different things we can do for motor tests for the ulnar nerve. Uh, one could be placing a uh, piece of paper uh, between the, the fourth and fifth finger and having her hold that while I try to pull it away. If she can't, then obviously that would be a, uh, a problem with the ulnar nerve. Uh, another thing that we can do is we can uh, resist for thumb uh, a, a deduction, so thumb adduction, so she's going to come uh, in this motion. That's, uh, ulnar nerve motor test, or we can also do uh, uh, abduction uh, resistance against the uh, index finger. <laughs> so uh, in this motion here, uh, against resistance. Uh, so again, those are all three different motor tests for the uh, ulnar nerve. Uh, then another test that we can do is going to be uh, the uh, Tenille's sign, a Tenille's t sign test. And for this one, we're going to have the, the patient um, uh, elbow is going to be flexed at uh, 90 degrees. And uh, it's best if we either stand uh, lateral or uh, anterior to the patient. And uh, basically all you're going to do is uh, either with a, a finger, um, it's probably better, or you can use a, um, a, a neurological hammer. You're just basically just going to um, tap right on the uh, groove here on the medial side, me medial and posterior uh, with your finger and that's where the ulnar nerve uh, is located. So by tapping on that, um, if it's a positive sign, you, you may have, they may have tingling or, or uh, sensation or, or pain down the, the uh, ulnar side of their, their hand, their forearm and uh, down into their hand for a positive test for the ulnar nerve. And then the last one that you, test that you can do here for the ulnar nerve is uh, called the cubital tunnel test. Uh, and for this one, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to stand anterior and then we're going to maximally flex the, the elbow with the wrist in a uh, neutral position. Uh, and then, um, then we're gonna, as it passes over, as the nerve passes over the cubital tunnel uh, there in the elbow, uh, a positive sign for this one would be, uh, again, tingling uh, or uh, pain or paralysis along the um, ulnar nerve distribution on the uh, lateral side, um, as indicated earlier. Next, we're going to be doing the neurological assessment for the median nerve. And the median nerve, the sensation area for this one, is going to be uh, along the radial portion of the, the palm. Uh, including the, the thumb and the index finger uh, as well as the, the middle finger. Uh, it also goes over the, the palm surface uh, and the dorsum of the, uh, the tips uh, for the fingers. Uh, and then the sensation uh, test for this one is at the tip of the index finger. So again, if we were to pinch that um, would be uh, test in the median nerve. And then the motor test for this one would be to ask them to uh, resist thumb uh, abduction, so it's movement away, um, resistance for that. That's your motor test for the median nerve. Okay, then we also have our radial nerve is next, and the radial nerve. Um, the sensation area for this, or dermatome area for this one, um, is going to be down the dorsum or the, the radial side of, of the hand, down 
uh, to the first, the digits, one, two, uh, three, and four, and uh, uh, except for the tips. And then also uh, the special test for this one is um, the web webbing between the index finger and the thumb. So if we were to uh, pinch that area right there, uh, that could be a positive test for the radial nerve. And then the motor test for this one is going to be uh, extension of the fingers uh, against resistance. So she's going to lift up against resistance. And again, if she's unable to do that, that would be a positive uh, uh, test for a radial, radial nerve. And then the last nerve uh, that we're going to assess for neurological is your inner osseous nerve. The inner osseous nerve, uh, basically what we're going to be doing is performing a um, what's called a pinch grip test and for this one uh, the patient's going to be sitting and we're going to instruct them to uh, pinch the tips of their uh, thumb and index finger together and uh, hold it and uh, a negative test would be that she is able to go uh, uh, tip, tip to tip but if she's not able to do that a positive test would be if she were to uh, put the, the surfaces of the um, uh, thumb and index fingers together so, and again that would be a positive sign for the um, uh, anterior uh, interosseous nerve syndrome uh, or the um, interosseous nerve. Uh, 